Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project and today's video is going to show you how to get your bounced mix project ready for mastering. Now we're in Logic Pro X today and we're currently playing our mix back. Now this is the mix we previously bounced out from our previous video how to get your mix bounced out in Logic Pro X. So this is our mix and this is stereo file and all the panning is adjusted from our complete mix and we've just bounced out into one track. So we're going to go to our mixer today and we're going to import some audio effects but we want to do that onto a bus. So we basically have a, a mini submaster or as you see here a stereo out. So we've created a little bus. Uh, we're just going to do a quick polishing technique and we're going to put on because it's a rock piece this one so we're going to put on a bit of rock EQ and listen back and then we're going to put a little compressor on top as well just going to put a bright vocal compressor on just to brighten the whole mix up now some DAWs allow you to add divering which adds noise to the mix which increases the volume. Now it's usually when you're mastering you're trying to increase the volume to match everyone else out there. Everyone likes to master at quite a loud level. So our mix is now mixed and mastered and ready to be bounced out for CD quality. So we're going to go to our arrange window here and select all, command A, and we're going to command B to export our file out, which is 16-bit stereo interleaved WAV, non-normalized, do not normalize it, and we're going to name it Master Bounce and bounce that to our desktop. Now, the difference between a Master Bounce and a, and a Mix Bounce is it's processing a lot quicker because of less inserts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.